he has deteriorated since being told that he's got pulmonary hypertension. So we are now looking for Jack to get a new set of lungs. And that, the lungs need to come for a kid nine or under. These circumstances and mother, mother and father having to make that horrible decision is horrific. The day that the boys got to go to meet the players at the training ground, they were patiently waiting to see all the players and they got to go on the pitch and have a kick about with all the team. Jacob got to take some shots into the goalie, which he loved, and Zach got a kick about with Van Veen, which he also loved. See you later. See ya. Yeah. I like you playing football. Do you? Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Thank you very much. Are you coming tomorrow? Both yes. Are you coming tomorrow? Yes. Mascot, okay. Mascot, so I'll try to win the game for you guys. Oh, my God. All right. I don't play Matty. And William Kelly. And William Kelly. Cheers. Well done, nice good cheers. The boys were super excited and the players made them feel so welcome. Then they got to have some lunch with them. I think all the players had so much time for the kids um, and the boys absolutely loved meeting them. Zach absolutely loves Kevin Van Veen. Zach is obsessed with people's celebrations. Zach asked Kevin if he would do a victory um, when he scored the goal in this was the victory. What do I need to do if I score tomorrow? Yeah, if you do this. This. And this, this, is, this? this is what they do when they score a goal. Okay, if I score, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Right. So you're scoring? So you just get the ball at the same time yeah. and do that, go. And then? Yeah. Yeah. And then that. <laughs> like that? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Wow. The weekend of them being mascots and the weekend of the training, they were so excited that they were getting to live a wee boy's dream. The way mother will and the players dealt with that weekend was phenomenal. They made my kids' dreams that weekend. The day of the game, the boys were absolutely buzzing. They had the football strips on first thing in the morning. They were ready to go at eight o'clock. They were so excited. And Jacob wanted to go with Liam Kelly. And Zach got to walk out with his superstar, Kevin Van Veen. Ready? Remember what we do when we score, huh? What do we do then? Yeah, together. When we got to walk onto the pitch, I think that was the topper for the boys. And then the, the most of them will look for their uncles that sit in the stands every week. I mean, it was so exciting for them. We all kind of felt that emotion especially me and Gordon, because we know what a big thing this is for Zach. And his wee face, he was just like, starstruck again. As a mum with a child that doesn't keep well, that was one of the happiest times I've seen them. Zach was born early, on the 21st of December 2017. He got put into neonatal. It was a bit of touch and go for the time while he was in there. He powered through like he always does, and we got him home. Having your two boys together and being back as a family was nothing in this world can, will compare to that feeling that I had. But as a mum, there was just something not right, and I kind of pursued that for some time, but was told I was being one of the overprotective mums. The boys started sharing great memories. We went on holiday together. We had great Christmas, but there was still something as a mum. It never left me. And we took Jacob and Zach to Spain and Zach had a persistent cough, worse than what he had before we left. The doctors were just saying he had a viral infection. One day, I think I kind of just took a breakdown. I didn't leave the doctor's surgery until they sent me up to the hospital and they decided they were going to do some heart scans. Four hours later we were told we probably wouldn't have him at Christmas and that was in the September. They thought he had a life-limiting condition called pulmonary hypertension. He had a procedure done to check the pressures in his lungs and we overheard that it was the worst pressures that they'd ever seen and basically it was a ticking time bomb. We were told then 
we don't know how long he's got. As a family, we're a team, and that's exactly what we are. The four A's are a team, and we work together to make sure that we're all happy. And he has deteriorated since being told that he's got pulmonary hypertension. So we are now looking for Jack to get a new set of lungs. And that, the lungs need to come for a kid, nine or under. These circumstances, a mother, mother and father having to make that horrible decision is horrific. As a mum, I'm praying for that day to come for Jack. And I do, I do see him getting them, but we need this to happen for him. Because if he doesn't get them, then things won't be good and he will just deteriorate. So we need lungs to make sure that he gets to live his life with his brother. I believe that Zach's going to get lungs and I believe that one day I'll be sitting in front of this camera with a wee boy that's happy and healthy and that's thriving through life and will be ticking off the boxes that he's wanted to do since he was young. Mm -hmm.